the Abranti Show. This is a special. I managed to get him back into um, my house. Yeah, my humble abode. You know what I mean? And if you want to get in touch, make sure you tweet me at DJ Abranti. You can also email me tvshow at abranti.com. Let's welcome the one and only Mr. Silva. Can I remember? Yeah, I mean, it's always good to have you here, man. Yeah, man, it's always a pleasure to come down and, you know, I support my brother's show. I, I appreciate that, man. It's been, it's, it's been a busy year for you, bro. Yeah, man. It's been, you know what I mean? It's, it's been nice. It's been an active year, you know. I'm grateful of the, of the year, you know. It's been a productive year, so, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, you recently came off the Fuse ODG UK tour. Yeah, man, uh, tell us about that. Um, it was great, man. Good experience to travel the country and see that the music is actually spreading around the country mm. like and the people love the sound so it was good we went up to the, like, the north of England, south wow. west, south east of England and yeah it's been like probably one of my first proper like official tours that like, mm. going on a tour like that and it's really inspired me a lot to see that yeah man there's a lot more out there to be worked with and a lot more to do and I'll keep it and I get to the text as well. So Absolutely. You know, tell us about some of um, your best moments on the tour and what what Actually, no, first tell us what um, city actually gave you the most love? Mm. It's hard to pick, you know, mm. because every city we went to was, it, it, it was love. What city did you go to? We went to uh, Newcastle, went to Leeds, went to uh, Bristol, went to Bournemouth, wow. went to uh, where else did we go? Birmingham, okay. and obviously London. Obviously. They did Glasgow as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it to Glasgow. Okay. So, yeah, that was like the majority of the cities we went to. And yeah, man, mm. every city that I went to, the people were so like, receptive of what I was doing. It's not even like they know me that like, I've been plugged on a, on a mass scale like that to the minute. Like, I've, I've had my successes and so on and so mm. forth, but I didn't know that obviously the reach maybe has gone up there. People, some people know me, some people don't, but obviously it gave some new fans as well. And it was just really good to see that energy. So it, it's good motivation really actually, to know that I've been able to go out there perform to them and they gave me so much love back. And then I know that if I continue to work, I can reach forward to do so, Some of the highs on the tour, I don't know, tell me, tell me, um, I don't know, what, what was the moment that you said to yourself, wow, you know what, this is it? Um, I think, what show was, I think it was Newcastle. Okay. It was at Newcastle and obviously the first one was Manchester. Mm. That day we rushed to get up to Manchester, we got to Manchester, so it was kind of hectic did the show in, but Newcastle had a bit more time to prepare and stuff. So we did the show and like, when we came off stage, everybody was just like, whoa. Like, everybody was blown away and mm. it was like, yo, what you did is crazy. I don't know how this guy is a support actor, more than a support actor. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was just that the energy else that people was feeding off from what was doing was really great. So I could see that, yeah, if, if people backstage are feeling like that, imagine what the people are feeling like mm. at the front because the energy was really mad. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think Newcastle was great, man. The energy was mad. And um, I mean, come on, with every tour, there must be some secrets. <laughs> there must be some groupies. <laughs> there must be some after parties. <laughs> you know what? Man? Like, it was fun, that. It was great fun going on, um, you know what I mean? Every day off, we had like after parties and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I like to party, but not every time party. Sometimes mm. I like to just chill off and just reflect on what's happened at the show and stuff. But yeah, we, we had fun, man. You know, it was, it was fun. <laughs> He's making uh, me, I wish I was there now! <laughs> some people that I was with, they know that like, we met someone called Mitchell in, innit? Mitchell in. You know Mitchell in. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more! No, no, no. Trust me, it's, so, it's how, how did you get on the tour with you? I mean, what did you do on your phone call? Was it management? You know I mean, what? Did you meet him somewhere? How did it all come about? To be honest, it's just a relationship which I've had with him in the beginning. Mm. So it's obviously, I did my first EP launch um, back in 2012 11, which was for the EP. Um, full Vim, full full Vim. Vim EP we yeah. did. And we did it in London Bridge Sides. Uh, and at that time, that's when I was on tour, like, for the surfacing and really going mad. Obviously, we had Boom Boom Tide at that time, so I did my launch and he was coming out with his on tour. So, obviously, mm -hmm. I was like, you know what, we're doing the same thing. They're from the UK, we're both going in. It just makes sense that I bridge it because we're trying to build an industry here, you know what I'm saying? So, there's this bridge each other. Obviously, I introduced him, came, done his team, relationship started building from there. Mm -hmm. So, more time, he came to my launch as well, the okay. Let It Off EP launch, he came down to that as well. 
So we just got that relationship where we and Chewie just kind of support each other and it's so I just reached out to him. I was on his first tour as well, so okay. he did another tour at the beginning of the year. I wasn't able to do that because I was focusing mm. on my projects. Mm. But as we came to the end of the year, we said, no, let's make sure that we get onto this tour. So it's just a good relationship really that we have between each other and a good understanding. So that's all it is really, man. That's good, man. Uh, my special guest here on the Variety Show, the one and only Mr. Silva. Uh, you know, I'm personally very proud of you. You know, I've, I've watched the journey, you know what I mean? From the beginning. So, you know, it, you've had your highs, you've had your lows, just like every other industry. How did you feel at the time when um, you got signed? I know it was the whole, you know, the green light was going on. Tell, tell me about that. No, it was uh, a mad experience, man. I, I can say in myself, it was uh, personal, for person to me it was a difficult, not, it was good times, mm. like obviously getting to them heights, mm -hmm. but obviously going through the experience and mm -hmm. going through certain things, like as a person, as a human being, like we've got our feelings and emotions, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, so like at certain points it was difficult, you know what I mean, it's like okay cool, maybe the label wasn't moving in a certain way mm -hmm. in which I wanted them to move in, so mm -hmm. it was like why ain't you moving in this way, mm -hmm. like we've got like so much potential here, like you're, you're dealing with a serious guy and a serious yeah. artist, so you need to understand that the energy I'm carrying is not a joke, so yeah. it was kind of like difficult that they didn't understand my energy, you know what I mean? So that was what was really difficult about it, that's what really kind of spurred me on to obviously come out with layer of one and now layer of two and so on and forth. That's, that's the basis behind that layer of thing. And so I just felt like I had to let off the energy, you know what I'm saying? I to let off the little people, you know what I mean? Don't think because man did a little single and green acting which is like a commercial project but still kept the authenticity and DNA yeah, about myself that man's maybe trying to like, sell out or gone even the sell out thing I don't even like using that word but it's all business and music is music you feel music you feel it you know what I mean so I felt the sound and like, I sent it out there and people we get you can see from the snapchats and so on people love the music so it was a difficult time but at the same time a learning curve to be able to go through that experience and see how things run on that side, you know what I mean? So, if good, the tables, you know, um, not necessarily turned, but if time went back, yeah. what would you do different? Um, I don't know. Would you, would you, knowing what you know now, are you still um, encouraged to go and get signed, or are you deterred from that now? Are you, you know, I'm not even deterred from it. It just needs to be right. Okay. It's about whoever you're working with, understanding who you are and understanding mm. what you do. Once you're in a label and they understand that, then I think all things will go well. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm not deterred from it, it's just I've learned from it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, if it comes, it comes. If it don't come, I don't mind because I know, say, the energy that I'm carrying will do what it needs to do, regardless because I was doing it before they even came into the picture. And they've come out the picture and I'm still doing it, so therefore it tells me that whatever happens happens you know what i mean just continue focusing on what you need to focus on eventually what will be what you used to do you know what i mean absolutely yeah. uh, this is a special with my special guest mr vim let it off is it more vim now is it full vim or is it let it off Maybe. what are we yeah. working with now we've got, we've got a lot of things going <laughs> on full vim you know what i mean they have to add more vim add to more vim you know what i mean they have to let it let off, it off. Yeah, I they have to let it off again pretending them is gazy on them gazy, gazy, gazy on them, on them. <laughs> Oh man, uh, look, this is a special show, so it's all about Mr. Silver right about now. Um, if you don't mind, if it's alright with you, I'm going to get on one of my favourite videos that you, you're in. I'm not in that video, you know what I mean, but it's cool though. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, I was in green light, I got bringing into green light, but I didn't get bringing into this one, but it's cool though, isn't it? you know what I mean, say nothing. <laughs> my special guest, Mr. Silver on the Brian T Show, let's get on one of his massive videos, this is called Bad. I see the girls when they all rolling through, they rolling in one by one. I see them looking, but my gaze never move, cause I only got my eyes on one. But all will be crazy, she just wanna have some fun. And if I go hold you, baby, you will be my one. She wants to have none, that guy will tell you she was a bad man. She wants to have none, that guy will tell you she was a bad man. She wants to have none, that guy will tell you she was a bad man. I 
see the girls where they all rolling through, they rolling in one by one. I see them looking, but my gaze never move, cause I only got my eyes on one. But all will be crazy, see this when I have some fun. And if I go on you, baby, you won't be my one. She want a bad man, I can't be telling you she want a bad man. She want a bad man, I can't be telling you she want a bad man. So you just saw it, the massive video from my special guest, Mr. Silva, it's called Bad. Love that video, Silva. Yeah, like, let me ask you a question, and you know, because this show's about you, so I'm going to get personal on a couple of things, you know what I mean? Um, you know, you're, you're self-funded, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you don't have a day job. Yeah. It's not like you, you work in McDonald's, no disrespect, Donald worked in McDonald's, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> and then you go and do the music. Mm -hmm. How are you funding this? The work is it's just, like, from my own bags, God, like, I just, Pray to God, tell him to bless me and just help man in what mm. I'm doing, you know what I mean? Help me to achieve what I'm doing, like, and every time he delivers, mm. you know what I mean? Like, there can be times maybe where there's no peas around. I don't know uh, what it is. Peas means money, peas by the way. Money, yeah. it's, it's so there's times there's no money around <laughs> and you know, I just be thinking, when's the next income going to come yeah, in? And yeah. I got a phone call, bam! Mm. Yo, I've got a show for you and I oh. send it on to the team yeah. and it comes through and mm. like this whole, even the tour, being on the tour, it's not that like, say Fuse funded man. Of course. You know, we funded it off our own back, said mm. no, we're going to get a rental, we're going out there. But I see we're going to do our thing, you know what I mean? Obviously we got invited but obviously we have to fund ourselves, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. So it's just sheer, sheer determination and belief in what you're doing and if you do that, I believe that from doing that, your energy will bring back what you need to get. Mm -hmm. And that's what's been happening. You know, I can see you're a very spiritual guy. And you know, I am totally understand that we've got everything that's possible. Mm -hmm. But there must be some days where you wake up and you just think, you know what? I've had enough. I, I do yeah. actually want to go and get a job in McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do. Oh, I've mean, had enough of this music thing. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? This year, like, there's been times when I've just been like, flipping out. Like, mm. like, you know what I mean? Like, this, Enough's it's enough, isn't it? It's long, like, it's long, it's yeah. long. So, so my point is, when you do get to that level, how do you bring yourself out of it? I just see things, like I said, I come on Twitter and might get a message from a fan talking about me mm -hmm. and that just alone tells me that man, I'm blessed, that mm -hmm. not everyone can get that, that someone talk about you in a certain way mm -hmm. and just, you know, it's, it's a blessing for people to be able to feel my energy and feel inspired about it. That's what really spurs me on back on, you know what I mean? When people feel inspired about what I'm doing. And mm -hmm. I can see my work has done a lot for, like, especially the whole UK Afro beat scene, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of the artists that are coming through, the youngest which are coming through, like Jay Hollands, NSG, 
uh, there's a few of them, K Weezy, mm-hmm. MB, that I can name a lot like that are getting on it, doing their thing and these are the young ones lot that are coming through mm. that probably just jumped on it like a year or two ago. Mm. You know what I mean? And it shows that the work we're doing is feeding off, generating something bigger than we even know, you know what I mean? So I just hope that it can continue to go like that. It's things like that that spare me on really and truly, man. So yeah, when I get good positive feedback from people, it just keeps me going to be honest. Exactly. Without that, I don't think I'll be able to continue without getting that. So it's important, yeah. Make sure you hit off Silver. What's your Twitter? Um, that's Mr. F T E Silver. So M I S T A F number two D S I O P A. Make sure you're tweeting him enough positive stuff. That's yeah, because we need to keep energy, energy, keep that, that positive, positive energy game. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned the UK Afrobeat scene. Yeah. Um, obviously it's here. Yeah, yeah. It's here to stay. Um, what direction do you think it's going in? You know what? Right now, it's like it's underground DM, so, mm. and a lot of them are learning. You know, they have to go through certain things that like I feel like I've been through certain things. I can, like, they talk to me, to, to me at times, and certain times when they talk to me, the things that they might say to me, I can relate because maybe I've been in that position before. Mm. You know what I mean? So, me, I just tell them, focus on what you're doing and just try and think out the box as well while you're doing the music as well. Cause if you can do that, then culturally we're going to ex- expand the scene, you know what I mean? But obviously, just keep doing what you're doing. If you're doing it and people are loving it, you're doing something right, you know what I mean? So, eventually, it will go somewhere, man. I feel like that scene, like the whole UK itself is a key factor to the Afrobeats thing. You know what I mean? Because we're doing tours here, we're doing big shows. We've got you yourself who does the Afrobeats Sunday swing. Mm. You know what I mean? It's a key element to the whole scene. You've got a lot of artists who come over all the time. I'm just seeing these things and I'm like, right, that UK plays a key part in what's going on right now with the whole African thing. So, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, my special guest, Mr. Silver, here on the Branty Show. Right, let's talk about you. What is happening with you for 2016? I know you've got the LP, the EP, mm-hmm. should I say, mm-hmm. uh, Let It Off 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there going to be a Let It Off 3? Actually, talk about the, uh, the Let It Off 2 first. Okay, well, who's, yeah. who's on that? Let It Off 2, uh, it's mainly me on it. I've got a guy plays on it. <laughs> okay. I think he's probably the only feature on there. And he's a North London rapper. And my friend that I just linked up and did something. We've got a track called Rotate on there. And then the rest you put the green light on there as, yeah. a, as a bonus, bonus. track, That's right? on the, the, on the all-in-one CD. So okay. we have Let Off 1 okay. and Let Off 2. Okay. And then we've got an all-in-one CD, okay. Let Off 1 and Let Off 2. So that's special edition. That's special edition. Yeah, so if you get that, that's exclusive. Like, yeah. And you've got the Fuse track on there as yeah, well. Yeah, the Fuse, so, okay. Fuse remix on there and Green Light as well. So, so you need to basically get the me. limited edition. Exactly. Don't just buy 1 and 2. Make sure you get the limited edition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you get the Fuse track and you get the Green Light that track. Exclusive. So yeah, that's, that's what we've been working on. And 2016, what is happening for Mr. Silver for 2016? 2016, we've got a few track things in the pipeline that we're working on as we presently talk. Mm. Hopefully, all of them. I don't want to say too much. And then, You're going to have to give me some, I mean, bro. Otherwise, I'm not letting security okay. see you out. We've got Gold Down remix coming. You know, there's a you got gold, what, what gold remix? Down, gold down okay, the Gold Down remix. remix. Okay, cool. Who's who's gonna feature on the remix? Give me, <laughs> give me, I haven't talked too much. Give me, <laughs> I haven't seen names like that yet. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, things are in pipe now. Mm. Hopefully, God willing, they come true. Then obviously, I start talking. Get me, but obviously, you'll be the first to know anyway. I hope so. I'm in you know what I mean? with you, you know. What I'm Abs- absolutely. That's how it goes, man. What about a Mr. Silver UK tour? Is that something that we can look forward yeah, to as well? Percent, I would really want to be able to. To do that man, I mm. really really want, from going on the tour with Fuse, I really want to be able to, even not even just UK man, I need to tour the world, to I be honest, the that. world needs to feel my energy, trust mm. me, mm. they're not ready for me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what hopefully one day we're going to get to that, hopefully next year, we'll see what happens in it, mm. like, I don't want to say I'm going to do it and then of from past experiences and then it doesn't happen, mm. it? when it's going to happen, it'll happen, you know mm. what I mean? at you the right time but we're working on it and hopefully you can come together if it comes together then the world will know absolutely they definitely will know that's for sure uh, mr silver my special guest in the building this is the brandy show um before you do leave mm-hmm. i need to hit off your social media again yeah, yeah. Uh, where people can keep up to date with you yeah. your snapchat because well, i don't want to snapchat in straight away so you know <laughs> um, pick one of them cameras that one there and just let, let them know where to catch up with Mr. Silver. Okay, yeah, as you know, we have their brand tea show. You can catch me on Twitter. That's M I S T A F 2 D S I O V A. My Instagram is Mr. Silver F 2 D. So M I S T A again, S I O V A F 2 D. And that's the same for the Snapchat. So Mr. Silver F 2 D. And the silver is spelled like the Brazilian silver, <laughs> which that actually stands for Strong Inspirational Lively Versatile Artist. So yeah, hit me up, man, get at me. 
positive energy we are dealing with. You get me? Get easy on them. Get easy on them. Let it off. More vim. Full vim. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, you did mention it a little bit, but I really want you to, um, I mean, we get a lot of youngsters watching this show, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. who do look up to you. When I'm doing the interviews with um, some of the new cats, as you mentioned, yeah. you know, they always say, oh, inspired by Mr. Silver, you know, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Silver's name always comes up, yeah, yeah. which is a very good thing. Yeah. Um, what message have you got for, you know, anyone that actually wants to get into the music business or anyone who's actually even mm. striving to think about getting in, into the entertainment business at all and yeah. wants to be the next Mr. Silver? First thing is to have a focus. Um, focus on what you want to do in the scene. That's the first thing. Once you've got your focus, nothing should be able to distract you and achieve what you're doing, innit? So that's what I'd say. That's all I can focus, man. That's all focus. You're gonna go through so many music industry is not easy, everyone thinks it's fun and games. When you first step in here, there's the, the fun side and there's the work side. You know what I mean? So when you're on the work side, make sure you're focused and just keep on it. You're gonna go through things where you're gonna feel down. I know many artists who are like started and they're not here no more. Mm. You gotta have a heart for it. If you ain't got a heart, there's no point sticking in it. So yeah, that's what I'd say, man. And believe in what you're doing if you've got the talent, express it. Some wise words from my special guest, Mr. Silver, on the Brighty Show. It is always a pleasure, brother. Yeah, Please don't change your phone number when I'm you become on. famous. <laughs> I mean, yeah. keep, keep, keep in touch. Yeah. And um, you know, I mean, sky is definitely the limit for you. I've been saying it from from the first time yeah, from the giddy yeah. up, and you're still, you know, proving me right and keep proving me right and yeah. keep, you know, what I mean, going yeah, forward. Support, it's all good, man. My special guest, Mr. Silver. Before you leave, um, can you introduce a video for me? Yeah. Yeah, man, I know you've got loads of them, but <laughs> just hit, hit me up with one of them. As we come to the end of the show, um, we're about to witness Mr. Silver goes down. So let them know it goes down. MT and so, yeah, come on. Yeah, it's kind of beat. Never going deep. Sit in the seat. Bitch wanna be. Yeah, with a G. Something like me. O O G O C. Ooh, did he really go there? Now you want to play my casino? Oh yeah, we're rolling the loud. Everything's bold. Now maybe they don't know what's in your yeah. OG from way back Let me see in my cup when I say that I'll go show you when I'm on when I spray that Oh yeah, let's go cuz I said it goes down You know it really goes down I said it goes down You know it really goes down They flow so nicely And T Brown and Mitch I was there Are you ready? It's a bang up in the place, if I did a taste Send the feeling the wave on the recipe We get to go, to fly on the rhythm bay So they know, say they feel me I said it goes down You know it really goes down Man a real educator Man a telling them later Man a real bad nigga Real bad nigga, yeah So it's gonna go down You hear my sound, you gon' go, go down All of the girls, them, them a go down them. All of the man, them, them a know now, yeah I said it goes down You know it really goes down I said it goes down You know it really goes down, yeah.